Washington, congressional Republicans are pushing back against the Biden administration's ambitious infrastructure proposal, warning that any plan that strays from core transportation priorities to one that tackles climate change and social justice won't get GOP support. I don't think the bill can grow into a multi-trillion dollar catch-all, Missouri Rep. Sam Graves, the top Republican on the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee said Thursday. A transportation bill needs to be a transportation bill, not a Green New Deal. It needs to be about roads and bridges. Graves spoke during a hearing where Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg laid out broad priorities for, but few details of, President Joe Biden's wide-ranging $3 trillion infrastructure bill designed not only to repair bridges and modernize railways but also to drive the transition to a clean energy economy. In the United States, transportation is the leading contributor to climate change, contributing to a pattern of extreme weather events, which takes a severe toll on our infrastructure, Buttigieg told the committee. Every dollar we spend rebuilding from a climate-driven disaster is a dollar we could have spent building a more competitive, modern, and resilient transportation system that produces significantly lower emissions. Biden is expected to unveil the initial pieces of his economic agenda next week in Pittsburgh where White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said he will deliver a speech, laying out more details of his plan to build the economy back better. Biden's Build Back Better agenda a slogan Biden coined on the campaign trail, includes several components, according to Saki, upgrades to aging infrastructure such as roads, bridges, rail and cyber equipment, a tax code overhaul that benefits workers, a boost for caregivers, increased access to healthcare, and clean energy investments. The prospect of a bill to rebuild highways, repair crumbling bridges and modernize the nation's rail systems is viewed by both parties as an opportunity for a bipartisan moment in a Congress racked by political acrimony. But even that may be difficult. Republicans still fume about the way they feel Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill, known as the American Rescue Plan, was jammed through the Democratic-controlled Congress without a single GOP vote. Rep. John Katko, R.N. Why? Told Buttigieg infrastructure must not be handled in the same manner. I just came back from a motorcycle ride, my first of the season, and I can reaffirm for you the obvious that our roads and bridges in this country suck. They need a lot of work, Katko said. And we can't do it in a partisan manner because it's too big an issue for us. Republicans have little appetite for a bill that could add to a national debt already above $28 trillion.